This needs to be investigated by the government. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is actual fraud. Over a million dollars of fraud. Like, this is a guy, so, like, he had a charity. He didn't give the money from the charity, and they're sitting on, like, $600,000. Like, what is this? Hello, you absolute legends. Just over two weeks ago, I released a video covering the Open Hand Foundation, yeah. the charity organization that was created by the YouTuber The Completionist and his right. family. I outlined how in 10 years of operation, the Open Hand Foundation has not contributed a single dollar of the money that it has received from the public. It's just sitting despite on Despite the fact the completionist, named Gerard Khalil, has been saying for many years it had been supporting various charities. Mm -hmm. And so, uh... We just, every year, we try to raise as much money as possible, and then we go work with, you know, Alzheimer's Association of America, University of San Francisco, um, Association for FTD, which is what my mom had, FTD. So we've, like, worked mm -hmm. with big and small organizations across the board. According to the tax filings, the Open Hand Foundation was sitting on over $650,000 worth massive. of donations it had received. And when me and Mutaha spoke with Gerard, he assured us they still had all of the money and were ready to donate it. However, since that time- I wish I could talk to this guy because I bet they probably weren't harsh enough about it. I hate it whenever people have conversations and they let people get out of it. I bet Mutahar would probably be pretty harsh though. Yeah, it's like, what do you mean? Like, I, like really, what is the actual justification of this? And if the money is in the account, open up the account right now, take a picture of it on your phone next to the date, block out the other stuff, and let me see the fucking balance right now. Because you know he's got the information to log into the account. He's one of the owners of the company. Take a picture of it right now. That's what I think. Time, nothing has happened. Gerard and the Open Hand Foundation have been radio silent since my video dropped. We have had no confirmation yep. the money still exists, no confirmation it has been donated, and it more or less seems like they are burying their head in the sand and ignoring the situation, hoping- Which, by the way, I understand that this is like a complex situation for them, but the fact that they can't at least address this at all is ridiculous. It blows it's crazy. over. The silence is deafening, but I think there is a very good reason why they are hiding. There is more to this story than meets the eye, mm -hmm. and the situation is much worse than we had previously let on. Okay, In my previous video, I spoke about Indyland, the charity marathon hosted by the completionist. But Indyland isn't the only charity event that Open Hand runs. Sure. In fact, it's only half of the story. Open Hand also holds a charity golf tournament, which pulls in tens of thousands of dollars in sponsorships every year. Yeah, and I mean, those are some pretty big sponsors, man. The interesting yeah, thing about the money the golf tournament raises is that it seems to disappear. Fans of the completionist who rushed out to defend him try to claim that because Gerard hadn't spent the money, it wasn't stolen. But in my opinion, this is misguided. Not only because this argument is nonsensical, I mean, if I steal $100 from you and don't spend it, I've still stolen it. It's money you no longer have, and I obtained that money through illegal means. But He's right about that, and I think that obviously, I, I was one of the people, I do believe that spending it is worse, but not spending it is still bad. I guess, like, my perspective was with this was always that yes it is bad that he just like took the money but at least it can be recovered at least it's like at least if we can just get him to fucking just donate the money you know we can move on at least it still has a positive there is a positive ending that can happen for the people that are the beneficiaries of the money rather than if he spent the money well it's like oh well fuck you dude and that's it yeah i think it's just it's a silver lining perspective but you don't need to have silver lining around a uh a bright sunny day but aside from that, I do believe the Khalil family have been mm -hmm. stealing tens of thousands of dollars each year from charity donations on top of the fraud committed through IndyLand. Why do you think And that? in this video, I'm going to show you how. Okay. In my previous video, I go. didn't include a sponsor because this is a serious situation. Right. And that was a hefty sacrifice given that I am the sole breadwinner of my family. So it's not just my money I sacrificed, it's theirs as well. Mm -hmm. And I can't keep working on this without being sponsored, so I hope you guys don't mind. Now, Legends, this video is sponsored by is the military Thunder? online game, War Thunder. Yeah, it is. And when it comes to vehicle combat games, War Thunder is the most comprehensive ever made. Play more than 2,000 unique vehicles, including tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in heart racing this. PvP battles. After, like, all and that each drama of these vehicles the is finely crafted to be as realistic as possible, resulting in a highly immersive combat experience. Whether you like the fast-paced action of air combat, or the more tactical nature of ground combat, War Thunder offers intense player-v-player -player battles mm -hmm 
that caters to any style. Plus, it offers one of the most dynamic and detailed vehicle damage models in gaming. God damn. Personally, I just like how realistic everything looks and sounds. The combat experience is definitely Can intense. you be like an armored War Thunder core? is free to play like using my warrior? link in the description, and is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And for new players or those who haven't played in six months, there is a large free bonus pack waiting for you, which includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles, and much more. Mm -hmm. This is only available for a limited time, so be quick. The Indyland Charity Marathon, yeah, I get that. hosted True. by The Completionist, began in 2018. But since 2003, mm -hmm. the Khalil family has been hosting a yearly golf tournament called the PBD West Convenience Cup Challenge. PBD West is a business founded by Gerard's father, Charles Khalil, in mm -hmm. 1992. Oh, now, wow. despite the Open Hand Foundation website saying it has been fundraising since 2003, there is no record of the Open Hand Foundation existing before 2014, when it was... Since 2000... Wait, what? Since 2003, we've led fundraising efforts to find a cure for frontotemporal dementia. That's why even say that? 14, I don't understand. When it was registered as a non-profit. If you look at photos from the golf tournament before this yeah. time, there is no mention of Open Hand. In contrast to 2015 onwards, where signage clearly states it's benefiting the Open Hand Foundation, earlier years simply showed- Well, I mean, to be fair, okay, to be fair to them, they could have been supporting it through charity without using it as a foundation. They could have been supporting it on a personal level or- through like direct crowdfunding at that time so i don't think that like this is necessarily something that's untrue but it also doesn't make a lot of sense either and also like he here's here's the other thing are we really gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt at this point i doubt it yeah that's a doubt right so it's like yeah definitely there could be a justification but mm, there could also be another uh you know that it was benefiting frontotemporal dementia. I assume mm -hmm. they meant to say they were benefiting dementia research and not dementia itself, as that is quite a strange thing to say. No one can possibly know where that money went from these golf tournaments before 2014. Sure. So at this time, there is no point in speculating. But from 2015, we know the money was supposed to be going to the Open Hand Foundation. And well, we I think that you can logically assume that if after they made the foundation, they weren't donating the money, that before they made the foundation, they also weren't donating the money. It's illogical to assume that they stopped donating money as soon as they made the foundation. You see what I'm saying? Probably. And like, this is just an assumption, but I think it's a pretty good fucking assumption. There are tax filings, so from here on out, we can begin to draw some solid conclusions. The main way the PBD West Convenience Cup Challenge appears to raise money is via sponsorships. Right. Brands will pay the Open Hand Foundation to appear on banners and signs throughout yep. the golf course, along with having the opportunity to set up tents and stands and have their employees play in the tournament. That's nice. It seems to be mainly used as a networking or social event. Yeah. On its website, the PBD West Cup even tells us what these sponsorships cost, mm -hmm. showing that different tiers give different benefits before yeah there's a lot of i know people might see these numbers and be like really surprised but the truth is that there are a lot of these benefit dinners and things like this that happen uh, a lot of companies and organizations do things like this in order to uh you know it, it's mainly a networking event and also it's something that like a lot of these times like people are going into this place and they buy it as a company, so it's written off their taxes in one way or another. Yeah, it's a tax write-off. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a charity tax write-off. So, like, this is, like, kind of a, uh, a whole, like, system. It's a whole thing. I'm saying the numbers are, are reasonable for, for this type of, of event. Before 2018, this golf cup was the only event raising money for the Open Hand Foundation. Right. So the tax filings should give us a pretty good idea about how much money it brings in. From 2014 to 2017, filings showed the Open Hand Foundation received between $30,000 to $60,000 per event. Sure, this yeah, is likely underreported, but we'll get to that later. For now, let's just assume this is accurate. From these years, we can get a pretty good approximation of what this cup normally raises. I don't know if it's likely underreported, and I'm not sure if I believe that right off the bat, because there's also... Um, Usually things that are underreported happen whenever you're able to crowdfund from a large group of different people, and that allows you to effectively 
just kind of like filter out some money because it's hard to reverse engineer where the money came from. But in an event like this, where you get large, large amounts of money from other reputable companies that will have accounting for it, it makes me less likely to believe that it was underreported, especially whenever you're talking about like large $5,000 sums, things like that. You, you see kind of what I'm saying? So like, I'm not sure if I believe I believe that it's being underreported, but that's just simply because of like the type of like you, how are you going to underreport something that Coca-Cola gives you? Right. And like they could do it now. They could absolutely fucking do it, but it's like such a stupid move that even now I, I just, I can't believe that somebody would do that without proof. In 2018, IndyLand began, and for its first year, it raised $55,000, at least according to Gerard. This money was also supposed to go to the Open Hand Foundation, so right. naturally we should see an increase in yearly revenue, mm -hmm. which we do. In 2018, Open Hand had a yearly revenue wow. of $113,000. If we assume Big that $55,000 came from IndyLand, that leaves $58,000 from the PBD West Cup, sure. which is in line with previous years. However, something strange happens in 2019. Okay. In 2019, IndyLand raised $109,000, double the previous year. That's a lot. In theory, this should cause a drastic rise in the yearly revenue for mm -hmm. the Open Hand Foundation. But mysteriously, revenue hardly raises at all. In the 2019 filing, Open Hand only raised $123,000, which means that somehow the Golf Cup now only raised $14,000. What's also interesting about 2019 is that it's the last year that IndyLand, or the completionist, publicly stated what IndyLand had raised in total. From this point on, they make no mention of this, which is strange. You would think a charity event would state how much they raised after it had finished, and they did proudly do this for the first two years. But then, as soon as the tax filings became weird, we started hearing nothing. We can to do- It's like, here's the thing. I actually don't think that this point is extremely strong on its own. I don't think so. But- it's like, there's just a lot of points that, like, there might not be, like, super strong on their own, but, like, they're not on their own. So it's like, I don't necessarily, like, I, I feel dumb, right, for, like, just believing, oh, well, I because, like, I don't know what their sponsor stuff was like for 2019. And then after 2019, you have COVID, so they probably wouldn't do the golf event anyway. So then sponsor money would be way down. So it's like maybe they're not reporting it because they're making less money because during 2020 COVID happened. And so they don't want to report having a loss because then that could make them look bad. So like I always think about like other ways that like a statement could be wrong. But like, man, there are just like, I mean, how can you possibly after everything that's happened like give them the benefit of the doubt yeah you yourself once said one one point is just a point but two points make a line and a line has a trend you're absolutely right and there's a lot of points on this line and every fucking point goes the same direction you're right it's a red flag but it's not concrete yeah here's how much money was raised however from 2020 mm -hmm. onwards, IndyLand fundraised through Tiltify, which shows the total donation amount. On top of this, all bits, subs, merchandise, and indie game sales were supposed to go to Open Hand 2. And that's mm -hmm. why we're here today. Bits, donations, subs, buy the shirt, buy the coin, buy yeah, indie sure. games, all that stuff. The coin. All of it is going to... The buy the coin. And this is probably a video from a couple of years ago. Is the coin what I think it is? It's a physical coin? Okay, never mind. It's quite a point. All right, good. Others for this charity event. So thank you for joining us. As I just mentioned, Gerard never tells us what these extra revenue sources amount to. But yeah. we do get a clue from IndyLand lead coordinator, Michael Barrett. He refers to an article talking about IndyLand 2022, uh -huh. which raised $90,000 via direct donations through Tiltify. The article author uses a different Tiltify figure to state that IndyLand raised $80,000. But Michael clarifies that with those other methods of raising money, they actually raised over 100000 So at minimum, we can add at least methods of raising uh, money. Money, also, they actually the read. article only mentions direct donations in terms of our total raise, taking merch, ticket sales, and platform-based donations into account. We actually raised over 100K. Okay, that's what he's talking about. Raised over 100,000. So at minimum, we can add at least $10,000 on top of whatever is raised through Tiltify. However, again, I suspect this figure is likely higher, which is why they don't specify what it is. Now let's look at 2021. 
Indyland raised $113,000 in direct donations. Then we take off around $2,000 for Tiltify fees. On top of this, every single year the Syzygy Foundation, the charity founded mm -hmm. by Jamie Lee Curtis, gives a grant to Open Hand. In 2021, okay. they gave them $25,000. If lot. you add these together, you get around $136,000. Sure. But shockingly, for the entire year of 2021, Open Hand only received $136,000. Which means, again, the Golf Cup hardly raised anything at all. But we know that's not the case, because we have photos of every single year the Golf Cup has been running since 2014. And we know how many sponsors they have and what they paid. And not only yeah, that, this I mean, means all the If they had that many sponsors, they definitely made more money than that. It's subs, and all of that extra revenue they that definitely Gerard did. promised us would go to open hand wasn't sent over either. Now in this video, I'm just focusing on the golf tournament, and I won't go into all of the ways the completionist and his family seem to be stealing donations, but I suggest you keep a lookout for an update video by some ordinary gamers. See, will... that's what I want to see is I, I, I still don't think that I've, I don't think that we have enough proof yet that I've seen that like definitively says that they're stealing the money. Like there's nothing that tells me that they've already spent the money. And also like, and by the way, they could disprove the idea that they already spent the money by uh, if he posted part of his tax return. He could post part of his tax return and show what his income was. And he could show where the income came from. Like if I had to prove this, I could prove it. Release even more. And by the way, if the IRS looks into this, I'm not kidding you. This would take them less than a day to figure out. They just call the bank. The bank's like, oh, okay, well, let's go ahead and we're going to send you the information. All right. And then they call the charity. Okay, we're going to send you the information. They call the different companies, Coca-Cola and Monster Energy and all these other places. They just immediately send the IRS the information. Like, they don't want to fucking argue. And as soon as they get the information, they will figure this out in one day. It is so fucking easy. Because you're not dealing with like a thousand different people that all have different accounting methods. Like you're dealing with AAA blue chip companies that are all abiding by, or abiding by gap principles, which is generally accepted accounting principles. So that everything that's being done by the books, you're not going to have a lot of weird disparities or anything like that. You can try to trust Coca-Cola a lot more than them. Let's be real. The speed of the government. Oh, yeah, the government is slow and mismanaged. But I'm saying that if you had somebody who actually works, they could figure this out in one day. It's that simple. Information on that very soon. So let's look at the 2021 Golf Cup sponsors. It's had two diamond sponsors, which were $8,000 each, one platinum sponsor, which is $7,500, and six gold sponsors, which are $6,500 each. Just from those... Uh -huh. Oh, I see. So this this correlates. I get it. Three tiers alone, ignoring all of the other sponsors, all of the other registration right. Tickets, fees, all of the other auctions. money raised from the raffle and auctions, yeah. and ignoring any direct donations which should be received during a charity event. Right. We already have a total of more than $60,000. That's a lot of money. And all of that money seems to have vanished. It's just it gone. It certainly didn't I go where to it open hand. Or at the very least, for some reason, isn't showing up on their filings. All of the filings from 2019 onwards show the same pattern. Almost all of the revenue raised wow. can be attributed to Indyland, and hardly anything seems to come from the Golf Cup, despite photos clearly showing it has massive sponsors paying up to $10,000 each. Certainly, tens of thousands of dollars at least in donations every single year are going missing. The now, I could say... You know, this is again, like, I always try to figure out a way something like this could make sense. Logically, the golf cup predates the uh, charity, so the golf cup could be its own, uh, it's referred to as like an LLC or its own foundation in itself. So the funds from the golf cup were never, well, then wait, but then it, it was combined before, right? Oh, God. Bro, this shit needs to get in. Like, I'm so sick of YouTube videos about, about this. I'm going to be honest. I am so sick of it. This needs to be investigated by the government. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is actual fraud. And it could be close to or over a million dollars of fraud. Like, this... Stop watching it. No, it's not about the video. Like, I'm saying that, like, I'm sick of, like, things that are actual crimes and real fraud being treated as if it's, like, internet drama. 
This isn't internet drama. This is actual fucking crime. And it's a lot of money, man. This is a tremendous amount of money. The question is how and where. Everything raised from IndyLand is through electronic means. This makes it very hard to hide. And any accountant will immediately pick up a discrepancy between what the bank statements show and what they are filing with the IRS. Oh god. Oh no. Jarred the constructionist, have you found any new donations? Oh god. There we go through electronic means. This makes it very hard to hide. Right. And any accountant will immediately pick up a discrepancy between what the bank statements show and what they are filing with the IRS. Right. But the revenue generated from the Golf Cup is different. The website has a page called Where to Send Payment, and it uh -huh. literally just tells you to write a check to the Open Hand Foundation. No matter okay. what account the money is going to, however, we know it isn't going to Open Hand. In my previous video, I was very careful not to make claims I couldn't prove. I wanted to make sure that when bringing up this sensitive subject, I didn't come across too aggressive, in order to limit the amount of backlash. But I think at this point, I've uncovered enough to confidently say that something very criminal is happening with the Open Hand Foundation. We have the- com I- How is it not? Right? At the end of the day, how is it not? completionist and the open hand yeah. website lying for years that the foundation has been supporting organizations when it has never supported a single mm -hmm. organization the entire time it's existed. Right. We have more than $650,000 sitting in an account somewhere that still hasn't been donated or accounted for. And we have It's like why can't they just post a picture of an account with that much money in it? Like I could go on my bank account. I could go on my uh, on my my uh my computer and I could log into my bank account and I could post a picture of how much money I have. And even then, I could also take the form that they send you every month. A lot of times, right? If you have any investments, there's a form that tells you how much money you have in investments. Did you make money? Did you lose money? Why not just post it? What's going on? Where's the problem? Where's the fucking money? This is something they could do in a second. This could actually take probably, this would take me 20 minutes to do at the absolute most. And that's because my house is a mess. I do have my paperwork organized. Where's the money, Lebowski? Yeah. Hundreds of the thousands of dollars money. from the golf tournament that has simply vanished into thin air. And this is why I think the completionist and the Open Hand Foundation have been completely silent. Yeah. Anything they say at this point is probably going to be used against them, simply because the truth is looking really, really bad. Yeah. Almost everyone is screaming at them just to donate the money, which should yeah. be pretty easy to do. Yeah. yeah. It, does, it doesn't make sense. Why not just, okay, right. the jig is up, just donate it. If you supposedly still have the money, just donate it. What? What's the excuse for not donating it yet? But they don't want any more attention being drawn to this. They hope people at worst will think that Indyland raised some money and didn't donate it for a few years. They can live with that. What they don't want is people, especially the authorities. No, if they raised the money and they didn't donate it, that's still a crime. Cause like, here's the problem: is like internet. The internet never holds anybody accountable. But like, we're not talking about. Oh my god, he said he said a bad he said a gamer word. I have a clip of in 2016. He he said he said the N-word. Oh look at look at this. See? See, it's like this is not like this is not real. Like this is a fucking crime. This is not some bullshit internet drama. How is this even happening? looking into the golf tournament and all of that sponsorship money. I've heard many people say this could just be negligence or ignorance or laziness, but I can assure you this is not the case. This fraudulent activity has been going on for at least 10 years, and it's not just IndyLand. Both events were lying and- I think that it could, like, it, maybe it could be negligence, but the thing is, or, or, like, just being stupid, basically, right? But that, like, whenever you say, oh, it's just negligence, that doesn't make it better. And at a certain point, if you're negligent, and you know that you're negligent, and you're still taking people's money, it's still fraud. Like, for example, if you say, hey, I'm a financial investor, please give me money, and I'll invest your money, and then you take everybody's money, and you invest it into um, bubblegum, 
and uh, you just buy boxes full of bubble gum, hoping that it's going to go up in money. And then people are like, well, where the fuck is our money? You're like, well, I've got a lot of bubble gum, so here you go. Like, you can still take that person to court because of gross negligence. There's even a term for it. And I don't know, guys. I think that running a charity and not donating the money after 10 years, I think that's gross negligence. I think running it and not donating after one year is gross negligence. What is this? Saying they were contributing funds when they weren't. The golf cup was taking in donations without contributing any of the money it raised long before Indyland even started. And when Indyland came along, mm -hmm. it did the exact same thing. This doesn't happen accidentally. This absolutely needs to be investigated by the authorities. Yeah, And the only exactly. way that happens is if the Open Hand Foundation is reported. I'm going to put a link to where you can raise a complaint in the description. And I hope that many of- I really hate the fact that, like, this is happening. That, like, we're all, like... I really hate the idea that, like, everybody just collectively does this. But, like, fuck, man. This is what it's for. It, it, yikes, but no, no, no. This is- this is what it's for. It exists for this purpose. You consider taking a couple of minutes not to for do this, so. Then when? It's obvious open hand isn't And also, a... by the way, if they get investigated and they didn't do anything wrong, nobody goes to jail. Nothing happens. that's what happened it's not like oh you get investigated then you go to jail no because if you get investigated and you didn't commit a crime then you don't go to jail rush to respond or donate the money so at this point yeah. all we can do is wait for those with power to step in exactly also once again use my link in the description to download and play war thunder it's free free it's fun and it's awesome plus using my link will get you a bunch of free bonus goodies so definitely click the link and check it out thank you so much for watching you legends i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video this is great like i'm actually really glad to know about this and it's just like oh man like filing a complaint with the government it's like fuck you kind of have to right i mean like that's just what it is. You kind of just have to. I'm going to link you guys the video. Make sure to give it a like. Give this guy some support. I love his fucking videos. I've watched like 10 videos this guy has made about Billy Mitchell. Anytime Billy Mitchell does something stupid, which is like once a month, like I get to watch a new video from Carl and he talks about it. These videos are so good. There's the link. Give it a like. Give him some support. Give him a sub. This guy is great.